you filthy, slimy, mangy character. No, 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 I didn't mean it. Fine Tip Creative Studio. Welcome back to Fine Tip Creative Studio, where we love creativity and collectibles. In this video, we have these two really cool Pirates of the Caribbean Funko Pops. So this one right here is the Walt Disney World 50th Anniversary Pirates of the Caribbean Dog. And then we have this one, which is a Disney Park exclusive treasured skeleton. We love Pirates of the Caribbean so much. We love the rides and the movies. They're some of the things I grew up with going to Disneyland and Disney World. And these are like really capture the scenes from the rides. First off, let's start with unboxing this one. So first off, talking about the box, his name is Treasured Skeleton, and on the back, he's not a set, it just says Disney's Pirates of the Caribbean, he's a normal pop. And something I noticed is that the little thing where it'd be circled, as you guys can see here, is actually the coin from Pirates of the Caribbean. This is a Disney exclusive, and he's packed with so much detail, and let's go ahead and check him out. So first off, taking him out of the box, you guys can see that it comes with this fun background, which some Funko Pops come with. And here he is, it's like the whole treasure room. This looks like it's a photo taken straight out of the ride, where in the ride, he's kind of plopped straight in the center, and it's basically a pirate who's just hoarded all this stuff. Here he is, out of the box. He's so cool. So just looking at him, he has so much detail. Feeling his face, it's texture, kind of like a really old skull. He has some teeth missing, and I like how they use a nice gloss of the eyes, makes him look kind of cute. He has this really cool hat with a bandana and then a pirate hat on top. He has a fun outfit where he's missing one shoe. One side of his pants is kind of torn up and on the other side he has his boot, his pants, and he's wearing a nice pirate shirt. Really nice details in the skeleton, how he's missing a bunch of teeth. On his fingers and legs you can see that they're really detailed. There's even some gaps and how it looks so realistic. One of the best parts about this pop is the huge pile of gold. He has two chests, a cool sword, and then some emeralds and rubies he's holding. I like how they made the gold out of this nice reflective plastic, really cool. The chests are painted really well. I like how you can even see on this one, a skull on it, looks really cool. It's really cool how they captured this scene from the right so perfectly. This is probably one of my favorite Funko Pops. I especially love how it's like a little diorama, and it's like they took the scene from the attraction, shrunk it down, stylized it, and turned it into a Funko. Next up is Pirates of the Caribbean Dog. So when I saw this at Funko HQ, I was really excited because for one, I'm a dog lover, and I remember seeing this dog on the ride, thinking he's so cute, and this one really reminds me of my dog named Art, and it's just because it basically took everything I love, dogs, my dog, and Pirates of the Caribbean, and just in one perfect Funko Pop. If you guys are a fan of the Pirates of the Caribbean ride, you guys probably all know the scene. Come on, Dougie. That's a good boy. Come on. Get closer. Get closer. That's it. That's it, doggy. Come on, you filthy, slimy, mangy character. No, 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 I didn't mean it. He's super cute, as you guys can see. He's holding this fun gold key in his mouth. He has these nice eyes. I especially love how they use all these colors on him to make him look kind of dirty. He's looking really scruffy, and as you guys can see, he has two different colored ears. You can see his little teeth sticking out. It's a really simple pop of a dog, but I really like all the fur texture on this one. These are some really cool Funko Pops, and Pirates of the Caribbean is so close to my heart, and it just so happens that I spent basically half my money at Funko Factory buying these two Funko Pops. I think it's well worth it, but let me know what you guys think about these down in the comment section below. If you guys also want to get your hands on these really cool Funko Pops, as always, check the links in our description. And if you guys love Funko Pops like we do, go check out this playlist where we unbox all kinds of cool Funko Pops. And stick around to check out all the other cool videos where we unbox all the stuff you guys see behind me. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you next time. Find Tip Creative Studio.